Buzz says Twister. I think it sounded like we're going with Twister. I'll give it five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Twister it is. Thank you everybody for the voting. Time starts when we can see the character on the level here. And the time to beat is... Hey Alexa. The time to beat is 33 minutes, 44 seconds by the one named Lucas. I should have got that, uh, that boost. Oh well. Oh, I can get this one, I bet. Nope, I can't. That's fine. I, I can skip that, even. I guess I'm just not hitting any of these. How about this one? Yeah, we got one. Let's go. One level down. Already. How's everybody doing tonight? Alexa, it's been a while. I hope you're doing well. Sarah, Ram, Muzz, Golf. I know most of you are doing well. Most of you were in Golf's chat a minute ago. Oh my god, load. Okay. So for anyone not super familiar with this game. Oh my god, it's the world record holder, one named Lucas. Of all people. For anyone not familiar with this game, uh, most of the levels are on a time limit. And, oh my god. Twister, get up. No, not like that. Turn around. Oh my god. No! This was so easy before I did a run during golf stream, and this was so easy to do. Why is this happening? <laughs> it's fine. We can still beat it. It's fine. Anyway, most levels are a set length of, I think it's two minutes on, like, every level. Um, but there are a handful of levels, including this one, that uh, we can save time on. <laughs> So that's the goal. We want to do the best we can on the levels that actually matter. That's fine. We're fine. You have CFG. Also, Lucas, thank you for the sub. And Golf, thank you for the boot toasters. Also, Golf, I was paying pretty close attention. I was chatting through a lot of this run. Because you see, on the levels where we're on a time limit, uh, we need to get a certain score, and it's really easy to do that. Because <laughs> you don't need to use any jumps, you can just jump in place, and then you get this special bar that fills up. I think I already have enough points to qualify. <laughs> so yeah, after uh, after you get enough points, you can just kind of chill and do whatever. I might as well just keep getting the points. I don't have anything better to do right now. It's very good. Did you get auto filtered? I didn't see a message, and auto mod usually tells me if there's a message that was blocked.
this level exactly the same thing. We're just gonna do this for a bit. Those extra spins I do don't really add that many points, all things considered. I'm not super worried about, uh, about that. Um... Yeah, oh, hey, I landed it! I didn't think I would on that one. The other thing is, you'll see there's like a clock over on the side here. Well, there was. There are clocks around. We want to not hit those, because those just make these levels even longer. That's literally all of the speed strats. Yeah, that's plenty of points. Here, let's see if I can get a jump. Get a jump and get a secret character. Let's go. We got a secret character. There are a few of those around. Who is Team Rocket? Well, to understand, the first thing you have to do is prepare for trouble. And make it double. There we go. It's so hilarious to me that you don't need to do anything to get that many points. Those 500,000 points, I needed like 167,000 to qualify. Okay, this one is a race level. This is another one that uh, we can actually save time on. And I think it's mostly just a matter of like, you know, cutting corners and getting these boosts where they're relevant. Oop. Twister, please. Sure. Oh, almost. <laughs> Amazing. What a game this is. What a video game. <laughs> I know, it's got so much more... character than Mario Kart, doesn't it? I'll get up there. Please, Twister. No! <laughs> he turned all the way around. I should probably stop trying to jump over these gaps. Oh my god. Because <laughs> if I don't make it, it's really not worth it. Oh my god. I was trying to stay on the side of the path. I know. I I can't help myself. Ooh, got that one. Hit the thing. Okay. Hey, Naomi. Less than pound, indeed. 
Hope you're doing well. Okay, this next level... This next level has big time save. If I can... Remember the route that I thought about <laughs> briefly earlier. Okay, I want to go left at the start. Head off this way. There should be a wheel and tape and an axle all right here. And then I just turn right around and go this way. And then there should be a board here? No, it's off this way. It's off this way. There it is. Okay. I basically went the right way. <laughs> and then everything else should be back here. Wheel. Another axle. Another wheel. And the last wheel. Yeah, that's very good. Very, very good. <laughs> we'll see, Lucas. I did pretty bad on the first few levels. I, uh, I don't know that this will be quite enough to beat you. And we're back to this. Uh, no, 50k is like the high score that it puts on the level, like on the save file, but uh, to actually qualify for the story rounds you need to do way better than that. By the last levels it's usually like, like I think for the very last level you need like 400,000. Um, and yeah, for most of the game it's much less than that. Just gonna jump up a building like cool people do. Oh, get over there. Got another secret character. Let's fall off a building. Not quite, not quite. Oh, so close. Let's not accidentally hit a clock. <laughs> That's the last thing we want. I've thought about a 100% run. It wouldn't be... <laughs> the problem is it wouldn't be too different from any percent, because I think you have time to just get every secret character as you're going. All Glocks percent. It would be story mode plus Tito's challenge, basically. Oh my god, why did you not stop spinning? Twister, please. So, on this one, we need to get to the bottom of the hill, and we also need some points.
So I'm gonna try to get to the bottom and then just like when I'm there quickly grind for like 100k. But I don't know how many points I actually need. <laughs> but we'll find out. We'll find out together. Where even am I going? Oh, there's a jump here. That's why I couldn't see anything. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Okay. Okay, but like, turn, though. Oh, there's the end. We're fine. Yeah, we only needed, like, 80k something. We're doing fine. And you know what else we're doing? More of this. <laughs> Don't hit the toast. Those stars? Okay, I kind of want to because they say toast. They just plaster the word toast on the screen. Um, but that, that loses time. We don't want to do that. Stop it. I'll do one more special, I think. <laughs> Let's just round it off at an even 500,000. Oh, we got... Was that Tommy Pickles? That looked like the big round head. Gotta go to 600k real quick. Easy. What does it look like? It's rocket power, team rocket rescue, of course. How are you doing, DZ? One thing I like in this is, uh... There are a couple of race levels, this one and one in the last level set, where the plot is basically the Snowmart team challenged you to a race, winner take all. And it's like, no, obviously it's not winner take all. We race multiple times and they're not quitting after I beat them. Turn. Design, it's real good. Where am I going? I'm going this way. K. 
Can I cut through these trees? Oh, I definitely can't. That's a wall. Okay. It was worth checking. I... What? No. Get off of there. <laughs> Absolutely noy. I forget, is this the other slalom one, or is this the jumps one? There are two more snowboarding levels. This is the other slalom one, okay. One of them is a get to the end without running out of time level, the other is a score level. moving very fast. We did it, though. We did it. Now this level's a tough one, because there are a lot of clocks around, and it's a little hard to dodge them. So we gotta very carefully stay in place here. While we rack up big points doing funny trick rolls. I also often feel like I don't fully understand the scoring system on this. Because sometimes... Those funny trick roll specials get me like 60 or 70,000 points. And other times, like this one, this was about 75,000. The first one I did got well over 100,000. And I don't really understand why. Hey, Manly. I know, very spoopy game. Maybe I'm doing more rolls? I don't know. Does uh, Nickelodeon All-Star, whatever it's called, have any kind of a story mode that can be speedrun? No, Red, it doesn't. Imagine them thinking of that. I'm on a bad angle here. Oh, I landed. Okay. One more time, the most points you need for any level in this game is like 400k. If that, even. It really is kind of spooky, isn't it, Daisy? I heard... I saw a tweet about that Nicktoons game that made me smile. Um, some people were just talking about... Uh, how, like, how nice it is that a small team made that game, just because they've been pretty transparent about a lot of things. And the latest one was, I guess, something in the game's netcode is messed up. 
and the devs basically said, we can't fix it right now because the one guy on our team who does netcode stuff is on vacation. And I love that. I also only need like a hundred thousand points on this level. Wait, why the face with Dunky? What's wrong with Dunky? Okay, one more race level, and then two more, uh, two more score levels. Oh, that is... <laughs> that would be really cool. One cent a second slower. Uh, no! Turn around, turn around. Totally worth it. Um... Muzz, I know this really cool sports platformer called Rocket Power Team Rocket Rescue. I have no idea what the fastest path to the exit is here. This is what I did last time. This seemed good enough. Visible percent. It's always an option. Okay, so it's gonna be tight with the load screens. It's four minutes of gameplay that I have left, though. Um, but with load screens and such considered, I don't know how close I'll be to the record. I think this might beat it. Also, yo, Thrasher. Who has the record? Lucas, with a 33-44. Lucas used Reggie. I think Lucas always played as Reggie, if I remember right. <laughs> because I like this game. It sucks, but I like it. Oh, speaking of random Nickelodeon <laughs> memorabilia that Lucas and I both know the existence of, um, random thing, but I was watching one of the ONL Flips videos that I'd missed, and you had a Tommy Pickles, like, cereal bowl, and my family had that. I think my parents still have that. I do too, Thrasher. Licensed games are often surprisingly a lot of fun. Depending on the game, but often. I think... 
God, if they still have them, they might be in a garage or something. I think we at least used to have a Hercules plate. We also had a bunch of the Disney cups that would have, you know, like art on it or whatever. You know the ones. I'm sure that's all the description I need. Golf, I just read that as, I'm sure my ex-parents still have them. Uh, I was gonna say, like, I thought you had a, a good relationship with your parents. I didn't know. So yeah, I think I'm just barely gonna get it here, and I kind of feel like it was basically all in the uh, build a skateboard level. Uh oh, that's not... Yeah, okay, there we go. Nope, I didn't I didn't want that. I guess that's fine. Sorry, Lucas, you knew it wouldn't last forever. You knew that someday, someone would not be able to resist the lure of speedrunning Rocket Power Team Rocket Rescue on the Sony PlayStation 1. Is this emulated? No, this is on a PS2. I mean, it was a PS1 game. I'm playing on a PlayStation 2. Sounds like cheating a little bit. The difference fast disk speed makes on this game is actually ridiculous. There it is. Because I've done a run of this on PS1, and I think it's like a 7 minute difference <laughs> FDS makes. Raimundo's arms terrify me. I wish they showed him more. <laughs> They're so small. You dudes are wicked fat. So good. You are, Lucas, that's true. And I have no plans to go for that anytime soon. That was Tommy I got. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and the music broke. Cool. What a video game. <laughs> 